Fed 40 is upon us. We are here with Damon Deleach Jackson, but you probably already knew that. You know, the guy is, is always on the co-main events, the main events. He's going to be fighting Jeremy Spoon, 21 and 3. So, Damon, it's it's a lightweight or no, featherweight? Yeah, no, no, that's what I mean. You, you pick either lightweight or featherweight. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I walk around pretty heavy for featherweight, but, you know, I'm walking around about 172. So, whenever I make that cut, I've got to lean up quite a bit and then, you know, make some cut pretty easy. But, yeah, I cut a lot of weight to get to 45, but, you know, I can do both pretty good. I'm uh, almost 6 foot, or 5'11", 3'4", so, you know, basically 6 foot. So, going to 45, it's a pretty big cut, but, um, you know, I feel, I feel the same. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, most people, like, whenever they say, oh, we got to go to feather, we have to lose weight, I saw your post, you were just like, oh, we got it. You know, it's going to change up yeah, the diet. Yeah, no, it's really nothing crazy. I mean, the biggest difference to me is that having my extra carbs uh, mm -hmm. in, the, in the morning, I really like to get up early and eat a bunch of carbs, but now I'm having to cut that out and stick with basically eggs, uh, chicken, and protein shakes, and so, so, and quest bars. I eat a lot of quest bars. Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> my diet isn't the best. So maybe we had to talk to the leech about that. Yeah. So you know, after, over the last, I'd say what year and a half, two years, or actually, we'll just say the last three fights. Yeah. They've lasted what? A total of two rounds. Uh, I mean, maybe, I, maybe I, total. I, yeah. <laughs> I've, I, you know, been very fortunate not taking any damage in these fights and mm -hmm. uh, come out there and do my game plan. You know, to get people to the ground and. And uh, that's how it's a game plan. Yeah. And even if you would say uh, they knew what the leech was going to do, Pacero, whenever I talked to him, he was like, he's the leech. Yeah. He's going to try to get my back. He's going to do this. And then, like, as I watched it, I was like, oh, my God, he just threw the kick, and uh, it's pretty much done. Well, I couldn't believe it, honestly, when he came out and threw that kick. Right off the, I mean, the very first thing he threw was a kick. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe that. When he did that, I was like, I scooped it up. And as we were falling on the ground, I, I really couldn't believe that we already went to the ground. Yeah. I felt a big advantage on him with strength, and I don't know why, but, um, you know, I got past his guard and had that arm trying to walk up quick, and, you know, it's just... I think maybe when you have a strong uh, discipline, like, you know, have strong background wrestling, just, and I think that people know that, that it's still messing with you mentally, knowing what exactly what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I haven't changed my baby, but I'm going to go out there and, you know, I'm going to do what I do every time. You know, anytime I get a chance, I'm going to take some things back, I'm going to get a sub anytime I can. No, exactly, exactly. I think if you would call it, like, calling the shot, uh, there it was. When most of us saw the kick, we're like, oh, no, oh, here it is, and it's pretty much done. Uh, it's it was crazy. Last long. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, because, you know, Pacero, uh, as soon as you got the, the choke, it was it was pretty much lights out. All you had to do was just get your leg over. Yeah, I side. locked it up on the on the far side, and then when I jump sides, I do that, and it, uh, it makes it super tight when you're jumping sides. I mean, people don't think it's a, a danger until you jump sides, but once I jump, it's already like, locked in pretty good. So. Yeah, understood, understood. Well, look, so we got miles in the back. That's, that's always funny. <laughs> so, you know, the, yeah, so over the last two years, you know, you're not the type of guy that comes out and says, hey, you know, I've been winning a lot, what's going on? On, this and that, this and that, but you've been pretty dominant over you know, yeah. the last year and a half, two years. Uh, is, is, you know, what would I say? Hey, Mick, you know, hey, UFC, but what you just got to do in your job? Just been working for Yeah, I just like to win. You know, I like to compete. I like to win. Um, you know, great. If, I, if they pull me in, and I would love it. I would love to get back and just kind of shut people up because it's crazy. Like, hi, MMA, like, you lose, and everybody's right on, in your face. They're like, oh, you're horrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're one dimensional. Like, you can't do anything. I'm like, Dude, I lost one time, you know, like, chill out, you know, yeah. it's like, uh... Well, 14 and 2 and 1 is pretty good. I would love to get back to UFC just to kind of shut people up, really, but, uh, yeah. besides that, I don't, it's not like that's on my head every day, but I am on my head every day with winning. I want to win every fight, and, you know, I, I've taken some losses where I just was really disappointed in how I performed, and that's what I go into every fight with that motivation of, uh, performing, and, uh, you know, finishing fights great, that's a plus, uh, being dominant, that's a plus, but, uh, finishing fights and being, you know, you know, just going forward with my game plan is what I want to do. So how do you feel, or how could you say, how do you feel like you've evolved? You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been able to see you, you know, for the last, I'd say, four to five years. Uh, obviously, it's, it, you were pretty awesome. That's why they called you the leech. Uh, and then, but now, you know, you've kind of, you've done kind of, you've done the striking. You're starting to get that moving. Yeah. Uh, so how, how do you think you evolved? You know, not, not just come out of my mouth. Um, like yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I've definitely evolved in my boxing. But I haven't, um, I'm not going to go out there and be that guy, though, that sits there and trades back and forth and gets cut up many times whenever there's a takedown right there, like, uh, you know, Gaethje, man, I love to do that, that, that was the dumbest game plan I've done before, yeah, uh, you know, he was piecing him up, he could have taken him down, 
so many times and he didn't even try to go for a takedown and he's an uh, excellent wrestler and uh, you know I'm not going to be that guy for sure so you know if that's what it takes to like get people amped up and happy all the time I'm not that guy I'm not yeah. going to get my face You're going to be some guy and just, just like bust yeah. them up I mean I want to win I want to finish people I want to win I want to take the least amount of damage and uh, if that's exciting to take someone down and slow them and finish them then that's great and I want to finish people but I'm not going to be that that, uh, that guy it's not, it's not a long career <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's tough, man. Yeah, that's tough. That is definitely tough. Yeah. Okay, so like you got Jeremy Spoon at 21 and three. He's an Oklahoma fighter. Yeah. Uh, strong. I watched a lot of his videos. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, he's he's compact, strong. Mm -hmm. uh, he's definitely brings it at 21 and three. You don't just lump into it. No. You know, people. I've heard some people like they're like, oh, he's 21 and three because he hasn't fought anybody. I'm like, he's cool. Yeah. Fighting, yeah. He's 21 and three. Like he's killing people. Like, yeah. He's finishing a lot of those fights. Even they're not good fighters or whatever you would say but you know you don't get there very easy by padding your record up uh, he's a tough fight man it's a, it's a big challenge you know, I think it's the biggest challenge I can honestly get uh, I think Kevin and, and Ty Lee would be another great matchup this is my first fight back to featherweight and this is the toughest guy I could get a hold of without me doing the title fight and uh, you know I'm excited about it man this is going to be coming in ready to go and uh, I'll be ready to yeah exactly and this is 21 and 3 I did see that uh, he was he was going for a title shot he lost by decision. It wasn't like he you was know, 20. It was, no. you know, it's like right there. They didn't it, it 22 it and two. And it was horrible conditions too, because like he was kind of slipping, right? And it was an outdoor fight. It looked yeah. like, and uh, it was crazy because it was an outdoor fight, and they were both like falling down. Yes. And yeah, I'm like, yeah. well, I can't really judge a guy out this, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, I got to see some of his other video and other fights, and you know, the guy is scrappy. He's he can't, he comes in every fight. He's ready to go. So I know that this is gonna be no different. He's gonna want to test himself with me, and you know I'll be ready, man. I'm ready. Oh God, wow. we know you are. We know you are. Another fake forty at the Bond Factory. You know where to be. It is May 25th, Friday. The, he's, the Leech is the co-main event. Jeremy Spoon, 21 and three. Any last words? Uh, shout out to Smooth, man. This thing's a, it's the coolest gimbal out there. It's a cool little gadget. Uh, to check it out. It's a, a smartphone stabilizer. Pretty cool. Uh, you guys can check out the interview. I'll post it too on my uh, social media, maybe on YouTube. Might be a, become a YouTuber. I don't know. We'll see. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's really awesome to get to play with the new toys. Yeah. All right, David Deleach Jackson, Jeremy Spoon. Come on and watch me at the Bomb Factory, May 25th.